guess the key, Neil, is whether Hawkins could continue to play so well as we approach the winning line. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? Not only for him, but for anybody in this position. As he just uh, brushes into the pink oh, on the way through. So, Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. This is where there are no more intervals in play. You either win or you lose at the end of this little section now. So it kind of changes the dynamic of what we've seen to something a little different. That was quite a way out, and uh, I think he'd have preferred to be able to punch it in. Well, just lost his way a little bit in those, towards the end of those four frames, but with a chance to regroup with something here first, potentially significantly. Well, he was sitting very quietly backstage on the screens, the analysis. You could hear what Ken and Alan were saying and watching the shots that was selected. He wasn't practicing, but he was... He had an eye on what was no. going on, put it that way, which is taking in the wise words. Who knows? But he was uh, very relaxed. There's another thing that's changed in the last year, intervals, because a companion with him you could chat to, but 15. that's all stopped for everyone. Sixteen. The way he's going to have to play this pink is sure to leave well, basically everything. If he doesn't go in, all you want to do is give this shot every chance of going in. Put the rest out of a player's mind. And well, he played it with quite a bit of authority, didn't he? 22. Punched it in nicely. With quite a long bridge on the shot. He's always been hard to read. At times you think he's lost interest and suddenly all the old form returns. It doesn't look like he's lost interest in this match. He's been very uh, business-like. 28. Still, of course, looking for his first title since becoming world champion for a sixth time last August. Lost in four finals this season, which 29. is unusual for him. Thirty-five. That's the other side of it. Even when he's trying really hard, he can still get beat, as anyone can. 36. Get people saying to you sometimes, you know, that is Ronnie O'Sullivan, the player he was. And I always say, well, based on what we've seen this season, you could argue not, but he is the world champion, and the world championship wasn't even a year 43. ago. And he's been very consistent. Forms ranking finals already this season. 49. Of two from the class of 92, John Higgins and Mark Williams have won ranking titles in the last few weeks. This is it when people say, for example, about Barry Hawkins, he should have won more. Well, yeah, 57. that's all very well saying that, but look at the people you've got to beat. 58. Well, he's almost there. This 63. red is enough because the remaining will go down by eight points, of course, when the red's potted. 64. First objective was to get a frame on the board. It took one chance for that to happen. Oh, he hit that one well. I mean, I know the frame's won, but it was struck beautifully. 70. Seventy-eight. Would the cube will dare go in the middle? Oh, it has, so it ends the break. Seven, Seventy-eight. Barry Hawkins. Seventy-eight, four. though, Brand. has won in the frame. That's the main thing. This could be a really exciting finish tonight. Hawkins leads seven-six. Worried about the in-off immediately. Mm. 
from. Well, he's very solidly knocked the red in, but he's on absolutely nothing. Harry Harkins, what? He's in trouble here, O'Sullivan. I mean, there is a red that he could hit to go up the left side, but there are so many reds in the way. Oh, that's a wonderful safety shot. That really is. There was not a lot of room there. That was almost a, a shot a billiard player would be pleased to swing that cue ball into an area like that. It's a great shot. Well, look, win or lose today, I think that is one thing that O'Sullivan has definitely added to his game. He knows he's getting a little older and he will have to graft a little bit more than perhaps when he was the most gifted player we've ever seen, I think. But Barry is matching him. And now the attentions have turned to the left side of Bolt as we look. Fascinating exchange, this. Well, look at this cue ball. Just look at this cue ball. Okay, there's a red gone near a pocket, but that is another exceptional shot. And if Barry decides to play this long red, well, there's no shot to nothing now with the red over the hole. This has to go in. Now, can he get any form of cover? There's plenty of obstacles potentially in the way here. So it was quite a good side of the table to play down. Cushion first, perhaps. Uh, they're never easy shots. One. Earlier in the season, he dropped out of the top 16, but got to the semis of the German Masters, of course, the Players' Championship as well, where he lost to O'Sullivan. Eight. Forty. Fifteen. Well, that's not quite how he wanted it. It's not much fun. Well, the omens are good. Fifteen out of sixteen potting with the rest, but uh, of course we're late on in the match now, the pressure is on. He recovered it pretty well. 21. He doesn't worry that the black's a little tied up. Just keep going. 22. Twenty-nine. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Forty-two. Forty-three. He put O'Sullivan partly snookered with the cushion first attempt, which led to this. Fifty. Oh, well, that won't make any 56. difference. Sullivan's just walking out. He's not got his cue in his hand. There's a clue that he's conceded the frame. So, Barry Hawkins, a steely effort there. It leads Ronnie O'Sullivan 8-6. 21. That's a terrific shot. Top side of the blue. Now, the fact that he's looking at a bolt colour, it becomes a more difficult shot as you... I think that camera angle completely underlines the fact. Positional side of it can go wrong. I don't know Three. if it can get to the bottom red in the bunch, the one directly above the black.
Four. Eleven. Twenty. Sort of screwed out of the reds a little bit more than he would have wanted, but he still has one for the middle. 27. 28. Yeah, he's in a very good groove at the moment. Certain shots you don't really ever think he's going to miss when he's like this. 34. 35. 42. 43. 49. 50. Another very well controlled shot. Stun run through around two cushions. 57. 58. 59. 66. You might just say enough's Harry enough Hawkins, here. 73. Yep, he's conceded. Terrific break again, wasn't it? A winning break from Barry Hawkins. 73 has put him on the brink. He leads the world champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan, 9-6. 90. As you can see, over half an hour in the match since O'Sullivan potted a ball. Well, I don't really think he made a mistake. Barry potted a tremendous long red. He's playing now the same as he was at the start of the match. Of course, you can't rule out things becoming interesting if O'Sullivan wins the next frame. It just might stop Barry Hawkins from feeling as positively as he does now. He's upbeat, but for now, he's all over O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan needs four in a row. Of course, from 3-0 down, he reeled off 4-2, take a 4-3 lead. Interestingly, in the eighth frame, he looked annoyed that he squandered a chance. Maybe he felt that 5-3 up, he'd have seized the initiative in the match from an unpromising position. Well, he's firing on all cylinders, isn't he, with his all-round game. It's another excellent shot. Perfectly as played. Uh, Sullivan right behind Barry looking to see if the, the red pots, he knows it pots, but whether he could conceivably get on a colour. Barry Hawkins won. Well, he was thinking he's first of all more worried about getting past that left hand red that he was closest to, but he didn't pass the bottom one as you saw. And he has been frozen out for a while, and every shot is more difficult. Barry's safety is good, and he's scoring, everything's working, and the pressure is mounting on O'Sullivan. One. And more importantly, maybe, he's kept O'Sullivan out. His safety's been really good as well. He's made the breaks. He's done everything in terms of the performance. Six. 
six. Now this time the balls aren't favourable for, for scoring where they are. Eight. Nine. Played that well. <clears throat> Just an angle now to come back towards the Reds. Forty. Fifteen. Well, the pink's now in play. Well, Barry has got himself into this position now, hasn't he? And uh, how well has he played to do it? It's just now a question keeping that man in his chair for the remainder. At the moment, he looks a little agitated, or as any anyone would. Maybe he resigned, I don't know. Resigned to his fate, but he still has to finish the job. 21. Can he avoid the red above it? I think he can. Get out into a space where he can land on a colour. Twenty-seven. No problem. Thirty-two. He's got to play this one, surely. So he might just be a little bit scarred by what happened. That clearly goes. Thirty-three. Well, he's edging closer. The pink put him forty in front. As reds to go out here, it's a great chance now to get this match won. Well, there is now a glimmer for O'Sullivan, who has not potted a ball for 43 minutes of playing time, but all of a sudden Barry has given himself more to do now for his next shot. Awesome. Gradually easing out of position more and more by the shot. That was very cool. Played slowly like that to hold. You could hit those to the top jaw, trying to stop the cue ball travelling down the table very far. It was a beautiful shot. He's retrieved the situation well there. But eventually he misses that one. Barry Hawkins. So this 46. isn't done yet. 47 in the frame, still six reds on. Solomon was already at the table, wasn't he? Yeah, I think Barry lingered a bit too long there. He, he missed the shot and he looked in bewilderment, but Ronnie was waiting behind him to play the shot himself. I think it kicked, looking at it again. 1. So, uh, maybe the last throw of the dice for Sullivan to get a frame on the board and make this task more difficult. Just got to the point when he rolled that pink in that Seven. he wasn't going to miss anything. Eight. Uh, things get difficult now, don't they, with the black safe and the red soul near cushions. Forty. Fifteen. Now he's got the angle here. If he wants to just develop the red and the black, it's on from where he is. Well, he's played it nicely. Give himself a chance to be on the red. And it's a slightly more promising 21. setup now than it was a few shots ago. 22.
Mm. He's a bit straighter than he would like. A little grimace from O'Sullivan there, knowing that... 28. He hasn't really got the angle. He might have forced this, and of course that's when you can miss them. 29. So, he's looking for the gap of two cushions between the, the green and brown. Oh, that's a delight, that shot. And he plays these left-handed. He couldn't have played it better. 36. Thirty-seven. Well, he's dealt with these reds brilliantly. And you know, the colours just about on their spots. Oh, this is a sensational break. It was horrible. The table, the black was safe. All the reds were on cushions. But the way, 44. as you say, that he's gone about this positional play onto that last 46. red. A delight to watch. Not for him. He's going well in what was a difficult start when he came to the table. Pink and black tied up the pink. Eventually 49. got three. Sullivan has stepped in. Well, he's not won six world titles for no reason, has he? And all these other things he's done at the game. People think that, you know, he's a great front runner and he can do all these things when the going's good. But it's been decidedly sticky for the last 45 minutes. He hadn't potted a ball for... And now this wins the frame. Superb. 64. Just a fantastic Ronnie clearance Ronnie. from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Sullivan. This is the match of the tournament and it's not over yet. Hawkins had his chance to win 10-6. O'Sullivan, though, has won the frame. He trails 9-7. Then catches the blue off the break-off. Yes, but it's actually not bad for once. I'm saying that, thinking that Barry's shot is not an easy one. Well, that's a good pop. That really is. But there must be something in the back of Barry Hawkins' mind thinking that really none of that should have ever happened. But the black has stayed out. Barry Hawkins, one. One. Eight. Nine. Yes, he was just straight enough to get onto that bottom red there. But he now he's 16. low on the red, so he's got to make contact with the red above it. He'll be a little annoyed there. I think his mind was Ronnie a lot Sullivan. on the position. Maybe he didn't think enough about the pot in the end. Well, he looks uncomfortable now all of a sudden, doesn't he? I mean, even after he missed that, he was looking at the end of his cue and didn't hit the jaw. A lot of this game is in the mind, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's not only about knocking balls in. 1. It's well played. 7. If the, he wishes this was dead straight, because he wants to avoid the bunch and play on the black to the opposite corner. Eight. Well, I mean, that is some shot because he had very small margins forever there. I was behind the shot, and it didn't. It wasn't dead straight. Here's the shot. Now it's not dead straight. Now if he's played that little cannon, fifty. I mean, I know he's a great player, but that was a quite a special shot, which can slip by unnoticed at times. Sixteen. Eighteen. <clears throat> uh, what's he found here? There looks could be a three ball plant in there somewhere. Those three reds. Mm. 
It's not a dead plant. It Nineteen. may be maneuverable into a plant, but if he's got the angle, he might decide to go into the bunch anyway here. Of the one cushion. Looking good. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Well, he's gone from not potting a ball for 43 minutes in the match to starting to look favourite. His black's not in yet, but he's got the reds nicely spread. Yeah, well, we're not potting them all, Dave, for the simple reason that Barry was potting them all, wasn't it? It wasn't like he was doing a great deal wrong. 29. A couple of safety exchanges that he ended up losing out on. Absolutely, he wasn't... He didn't see anything easy, did he? The only balls he was seeing were... 30. ...from distance, not easy. Hawkins had kept him out, but now Hawkins has let him back in, and he knows that. Well, he's not there yet, but he's... 33. The brink of pulling another frame back, which makes this match very interesting. Thirty-four. Well held for the bottom red. Forty-one. Forty-two. At the moment, Barry could conceivably tie. I think he's on that bottom red from where he is. Yes, he is. Forty-five. At the moment, Johnny O'Sullivan has come to life at just the right time. He sat in his chair in that last frame. Now he's right back in with a chance of winning this match. Well, it's a strange old game, isn't it? How much would he have jumped at the chance to be nine-eight up? in this match, first to ten at the start, but not so when you're nine-six up and you look like you're going to win ten-six. But 60. the numbers are still the same, aren't they? Sixty-one. Yeah, it's just everything that's happened, as you say, and uh, regardless of the red in the last frame, which looked like a bad contact, he missed a couple in this one, black and a red. Eventually, O'Sullivan has made another terrific break. Sixty-eight. There's been something 69. in a mesmerising session of snooker from both of them. What about that for a shot? 78. Not sure exactly what that was that fell on the table, but he's put it in his pocket. 90. Sullivan, 90. 90 from Ronnie O'Sullivan. This match now, this semi final, officially a thriller. Barry Hawkins leads Ronnie O'Sullivan, 9 8. 's it looks like he might have got away with all kinds there he caught it so thin it's one of those it's only a shot to nothing if you kind of get near the potting angle I mean the red's on that's near the pocket but clearly it's hard enough to get to getting on a color I think he's well it is an impossibility and the red is available but it'll take a good shot to cue it in and push the cue ball up and down the table. One. Well, that is a kiss from the gods. Okay, it was well cued, but that is a, a very fortuitous result. Six. Seven. It's only, what, 20 minutes since it looked basically over. Barry was closing in on victory, but right now... Twelve. He's in big trouble, even though he's still in front. 
So Sullivan, 13. A, playing the better snooker right now, but also getting the odd little nudge and little bit of fortune that you also need. 18. Nineteen. They didn't hold back on the shot. Twenty-four. Hard to line these up when you're that close to the ball you're hitting. Twenty-five. Well, he's always going to have that sort of side on it, which took it onto the brown. It's an adventurous break. The balls are going in all directions, but there's an element of controlling and understanding about what he's doing. Keep this break alive. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Decided yet, but 38. You know, it could have been out. But the clearance of O'Sullivan was one of his better ones of many over the years. 40 odd minutes without a ball being potted, that was special. And he hasn't 46. relented since, and he's experienced enough to, to read the signs. 53. Ronnie no, O'Sullivan. 53. A little deceleration there, and you overcut them. So, Barry Hawkins has got another chance. Oh. <laughs> Back at the table, at least. It could have been nine each. 7. Well, this is uh, the big shot. Get the bunch of reds open. Well, that's good. That's very good. 14. Fifteen. Oh, again, he could not have played that better. 20. It's very important if he plays on the blue that he gets it where he did on that last blue. And that would help matters. 21. I'd be more than happy to finish there. So once again, O'Sullivan in that position of not knowing whether he'll get another shot in this match. Cuba's run a little further means he has to make contact with the other reds, so it wouldn't be a difficult cannon, but it's one that uh, it's not inconceivable it could go wrong. 27. Wasn't meant to kiss, kiss the reds that thick, and it has gone wrong. There's no getting away from it. Sorry, Hawkins, 27. It's a good shot. It's a different kind of tension these days with no audience, but it's no less sort of just the whole intensity of the match. One. He's going to have to play a snooker here, and he could make it a good one. Only on Sullivan, one. Foul, the miss. Only a solemn four, free ball. Blue ball. Okay. 
<laughs> Not sure, but obviously putting the blue safe is a good thing. The snooker now is easy and he could take a risk and get the black in play here. I'm sure everyone at home, whether you're an experienced snooker player or not, but Ronnie could have easily put him in behind that yellow. But at this level, you have to get the shots right. Well, he can get onto the brown from this red, which will enable him to win the frame. Obviously, blue, pink, and black, he'll do well to get on those. What? I only think lower value than the brown is not going to be of any use to him. Been a lot, been a lot of interesting decision making in the last few minutes here. Both players have had to deliberate over. He's in the frame now again. But of course, so it's all very tense. Seven. Wanted to get back a bit further there for the green. He wanted to be straighter than this, I'm sure. Harry Hawkins, sir. Well, this is frame ball, but it's quite thin. Thin sliver of this, this green ball to pot it. Great. Well, an extraordinary match it's turned into, and it looks like we'll need one more frame to decide it. And the brown is in. So O'Sullivan has won the last three. Ronnie Osso, seven, and the fray. Little nod of the head from Barry Hawkins, who led 9-6. Ronnie O'Sullivan has hit back. It's all on the last frame. They're level at nine each. <laughs> he has had one or two matches, Barry Hawkins, no getting away from it in his career, which have slipped out of his hands when he's had them won. This one would be, if it happened, maybe the biggest of them all. Foul. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Sullivan, four. That is a terrible outcome to that shot. That is a dreadful Foul. start to the frame. The black's available, the red above it. Ronnie will be eyeing up getting on that. What a chance. Well, well, the old cliche is all you need in the decider is a chance, but sometimes you need more than one chance, and Hawkins may not get another one now. Six. Seven. Yes, had to play that very slowly to avoid the two reds. 14. And then behind one. 15. <laughs> 22. 23. He's likely to develop, 30. develop reds here and finish on the black into the left corner or screw off the bunch. 31. Not bad. People has strayed slightly. 30. If it goes in, Barry Hawkins might have played his last. 
30 and It's just so difficult to sit in your chair and not think back half an hour or so when he was really very close to winning this match comfortably in the end. 13. A bit annoyed that he's very straight on this. So the next shot is mid-range. 44. Ronnie Sullivan, 44. He's furious. He changed his mind. He was going to play the middle red to run through on the black. Well, he had the match won there. And he knows it. One. <laughs> well, that little flick has made this a lot more difficult. He's going into the reds as well. I mean, okay, he's back at the table, but this is not much fun, this shot. Played it very well. Sold it nicely, but how's he feeling inside? That's what we can't tell, just watching him. Nine. Well, he has pushed another red safe, which, of course, he will need. There's a number of points behind still. So that's something for later on to consider. Sixteen. Seventy. Yeah. yeah. Ronnie O'Sullivan is no longer chasing the game. He's trying to win the match. Everything on the line in the decider. As it was two years ago when he beat Trump on the last black. Well, two things Barry did. He checked the scores and then he looked at the angle, which might take him into one of those two reds. Sooner rather than later, perhaps. He played the cannon, but the worst outcome of all, missing it. It was a brave shot to take on. Many 32. a player would have taken the balls that were there and worried about that later, given that, of course, he's still behind. 33. This black is more difficult maybe than the first one in that the cue ball is definitely going all around the table. 34. Overcut it by an absolute mile. Now he needs to hit a colour. Harry Hawkins, 33. Well, that got very edgy. Yeah, it started when he didn't get that red. Free as intended. Potted the good red nonetheless, but then has missed that tricky black. So a Sullivan back at the table, 15 in front. Nothing easy right now. The table, given he's got a 15 point lead, is in O'Sullivan's favour, but it's not usually how he wins frames or matches. The quality we've seen before is always brought down to things getting very nervy in a decider. As great as these two players are and as well as they've played, it wouldn't really be snooker if he didn't get nervous. Might be pulling the cue ball up in towards the top right pocket here. Well now, if Ronnie was to play this red into the yellow pocket, he leaves the other two on, but it may win in the match. He's got one red as insurance. If he does miss it, he's got an easy safety shot off the safe red, but of course he doesn't want to move it. Very big shot, this. 14. Wow, he struck it. Two way, but the keyboard fizzed back towards the middle pocket. Important though, he could still see the pink because the three reds with pinks, you wouldn't Seven. need the last red, because the black's on the cushion. But if he takes pinks, he's just trying to work that out now. Hawkins would need a snooker. And it makes the world Eight. a difference that he doesn't need the other red. <laughs> and it's not the easiest shot to get on that top right red. Just off straight, there's a screw in behind it, I think. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. 
That is, you couldn't put it any better with your hand Fault to it. get from red to pink. Well, another red and a pink. The lead by 36 with 35 on. 15. And Barry Snookers, he's in the final. 21. It was close, wasn't it? I think he thought that might have gone in. Hasn't, so it's one snooker needed. Mm. Sullivan's fight back from 9-6 down is what champions are made of. Wow. Over did it. Yeah, he knew the on in off was not quite on that time. The table is getting more and more appealing for getting the snookers, especially where the yellow and brown are and way of doing it. Clearly now he's got almost a cast iron snooker here behind the brown on the yellow. One thing he wants here is the yellow to be in somewhere in the middle of the table, not near a cushion, which Six. doubles the target size for Sullivan to hit. And that's surely one of the Barry worst Hawkins shots he's ever played. Should have been much more difficult than this. Clock's going forward, aren't they, overnight? He wants to turn them back, I think, Barry Hawkins. Target is quite big. Got to watch the in off in the top left here. Oh, no, he's just avoided it, only just. He hasn't got a clear shot at all of this, so not so easy. Get the snooker back. It's not going to trouble him. I don't want the keyboard to be going off at an angle. It's probably the best he could have done. <laughs> don't think he wanted to get that brown in play, really. Well, that's surely it now. The truth is, it's very hard to beat Ronnie O'Sullivan, regardless of the position of the match. And it's an aura that's born out of greatness. This is a great escape, because Barry Hawkins has played superbly in this match. Five. Three centuries from the Hawk. Some excellent safety as well. It's going well at 9-6. Ronnie O'Sullivan, But five. it's Ronnie O'Sullivan the match. who will face Neil Robertson in the Tour Championship final. The match of the week. A real thriller here in Newport today, and it's Ronnie O'Sullivan who beats Barry Hawkins 10-9 to reach the final.